students, let us start with exercise 8.1 of chapter 8 quadrilaterals. This is on page number 146 of your textbooks. We will take a look at the first question. So the first question reads that the angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 9 is to 30. You have to find all the angles of the quadrilateral. So let's say I have my quadrilateral over here. A, B, C, D. Now it's given that when you add, uh, there are four angles to it. They are in the ratio A is to B is to C is to 3, uh, sorry, is to D is nothing but in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 9 is to 30. Now we need to find the measure of angles A, B, C and D. So what I will say is let the common ratio between the angles be X. Therefore what will my uh, angles become? My angle A will therefore be 3X, B will be 5X, C will be 9X and D will be 13X. We also know that the sum of angles of a quadrilateral are 360 degrees. So when you add 3x plus 5x plus 9x plus 13x, you get 360 degrees. Using that you can find the value of x, then uh, once you find the value of x, you can substitute it for your angles a, b, c and d and find the angles. So let's go ahead and solve our question. I'll say let the common ratio between the angles B 3x, uh, sorry, x, right? Therefore, the required angles are 3x, 5x, 9x, and 13x, right? Therefore, I get 3x plus 5x plus 9x plus 13x is equal to 360 degrees. And in brackets you will write, I do not have space over here so I am just writing it, sum of angles of quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. We know this, this was the first, very first thing that we learned in our chapter, right? So let's add these numbers, 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 9 is uh, 17, 17 plus 13 is 20. So what do I get? 20x, 30. 30x is equal to 360 degrees, correct? Therefore, I get x as 360 degrees divided by 30. So when you cancel, what do you get? And 3 1s are 3, 3 12s are 36. Therefore, x is equal to 12. So let's find our answers now. I'll say therefore, the required angles are 3 we had 3x which is 3 into 12 which is 36 degrees then we had 5x which was 5 into 12 which is 60 degrees then you have 9 into x which is 9 into 12 9 12 is 108 Th fourth angle is 13x which is 13 into 12 so 13 into 12 we know is 156 degrees now let's add all of these and see whether we're getting 360, de uh, 360 degrees because the sum of angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees so I'm going to add this so I get this as 20 then 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 plus 5 is 16 360 degrees so therefore Adding all of these, we are getting 360 degrees. Therefore, I will write my answer. Answer, the angles 
are the angles measured 36 degrees 60 degrees 108 degrees and 156 degrees so please take a look at the entire question we'll solve the second question of exercise 8.1 in the next video thank you hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies so what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.